everyone. Welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I'm your host for this High Priestess Speaker card. So we're going to read all the cards in case you're not sure of where your intuition needs to go. Maybe there is something in specific that you're trying to heal at this time. So number one, two, three, four, we're going to read this. I am posting this as it is the last day for my wild feminine energy promotion. The readings will still be accessible, but as far as the promotion, it's ending today. So you can still order in the description box below. You'll have a link. All right, let's see what we have for you. Pile number one mother of life when life seems dry depleted filled with repetitive tasks or simply stagnant and stifled isis the mother of life holds the ability to revive even the most numb resistant and difficult circumstances in your life she calls to you now seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you be bold and brave Open your arms and receive. Very interesting. I know this is my ring that knocked, but this is a little thing that, you know, my great grandmothers uh, used to say, you know, when you hear knock, there is spirit trying to come and talk to you. So some of you for this message, I feel that maybe your ancestors are trying to help you at this time. So if you've been having struggles and, and difficulties to, um, listen to this guidance and, 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 and kind of integrate the messages, um, that could be a great card here, especially if times have been difficult for you. All right, pile number two, we have healing the divine masculine. The divine masculine within provides protection, discernment, healing, and a sense of deep safety and holding, even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life. Your inner masculine is going through healing right now, growing stronger in the ability to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression. So maybe if you're feeling, I think that was a few days ago, I posted about emotional discernment. We have currently, as I'm channeling this, some uh, conjunctions that are creating this need to heal the mind and especially allow the mind to create the space for the heart to blossom. So maybe some of you, that could be um, a pile that's uh, helpful. Pile number three, let's see what we have. Power over seven scorpions. You are being initiated into the magic of conjuring so as to have power to affect lower vibrational forces through your own will and spoken word. You are guided to use this powerful gift with compassion and discernment, with mercy and non-judgment. You can then manage any toxicity in your life swiftly and with great effect. Okay, so if you're needing <laughs> a little support, for clearing maybe some darkness some shadows maybe if you've been you know uh, called to do some shadow work that could be a good uh, pile all right let's see last one number four oh lady of the stars cyrus is a celestial goddess a star of unconditional love and wisdom at an extremely high vibration she brings deep soul awakening spiritual gifts, and a high capacity for divine service. She asks you to pay attention now because something significant is taking place at a spiritual level for you at this time. So I would say here really is feels that if you are um, maybe ch challenge with self-love or integrating some of the lessons that you have gathered about this spiritual quest journey and trying to bring more love, compassion, forgiveness to yourself, that could be a good pile. All right, my dear high priest and high priestesses, okay, God and God self, let's see where this message takes us. All right, let's get started. If you chose pile number one, here are your cards and then we'll pull some tarot cards to get clarification. 
So first, in the introduction, we read this message and I will read it again. This is all about Mother Isis energy, the mother of life. And it said, when life seems dry, depleted, filled with repetitive tasks or simply stagnant and stifled, Isis, the mother of life, holds the ability to revive even the most numb, resistant and difficult circumstances in your life. She calls to you now, seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you. Be bold and brave, open your arms and receive. Okay, so there's something that is meant to be received. We're going to leave this like this. Let's see what we have. Rejection. The sensitive one with the moon energy and a Cali card. It says here, life as you have known it will change radically. And this can be a welcome release. Cali is not quiet and subdued in the cremation grounds. She is wild and vital. Callie brings energy and aliveness to situations where there would be otherwise none. She brings an end to stagnation that has been depleting your life force. This is so interesting. Both cards here have the word stagnant, stagnation. Now here with the rejection, it really feels like, and the sensitivity, that you could have been experiencing what uh, is illustrated with the quote, you know, God's rejection is God's protection. You might have been trying to start different things or try to know a little bit more about your purpose or how to achieve a certain goal. And it seems that maybe there was some blockages that you had to go through. Now, I want to reassure you because through what I'm seeing with a lot of clients, you know, there's a lot that is always happening in your chart. You're receiving a lot of cosmic energy and it's activating you in some ways that sometimes you don't even understand what the F is happening, okay? <laughs> because it's taking you into a spiral. I recently had someone, I just looked at their chart quickly, didn't even start the reading, but I was seeing like this whole whole plethora of planets transiting their eighth house. This is a house of shadow. This is going to create a lot of energy commotion. There's going to be a lot going on. So here, my dear high priest and high priestesses, if you're watching this because that's what you chose, know that you're going through a phase that seems to be, more, it's like a cleanup. It's like an early clean uh, spring or winter or fall, whatever season. It's, it's a cleaning season, okay? Uh, as I'm channeling this, you know, it's, it's more of like the beginning of the year. But remember, this is not in astrology, really, the beginning of the year. We're actually in winter, deep winter. Um, but you could be on a different hemisphere. So I'm just saying that for the ones that are resonating with this. But it seems that what your high priestess a feminine sacred energy wants to share with you is that you need more space you need to create more space so the things that don't work out okay they're actually meant for you to create more space for something that is greater because some endings were needed and are needed in order to bring something greater and some of you if you allowed yourself not to wallow on the loss, on the rejection, on the disappointment, you know, you would actually start sensing what more is coming. All right, let's pull those tarot cards because now I got myself curious. <laughs> okay, let me back you up a little bit so we can create more space. We talked about this. Let's create more space, Audrey. Yes, 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 yes. Let's create more space. All right, so what do we need to know for pile number one as far as the situation? So we can transit and move from the stagnant energy into a greater phase, you know, feeling on top of the world. I really feel like, you know, it's, it's, it feels almost like 
very drastic how and maybe some of you you've been experiencing a lot of mood swings i don't know i just felt like i had to say it okay um i have no idea what the heck i'm doing <laughs> here okay some of you maybe that was like what you're feeling thinking maybe you're trying some things and you're like i don't know what i'm doing but i'm trying and some things are working out and some are not and the times that i really think i know where i'm going it's not turning out the way it's supposed to be but i think that maybe what you're missing is that the process of you trying and following your guidance is the training is the gift been there done that by the way okay this is where <laughs> my wisdom comes from yeah i was like are you kidding me this this was the lesson actually ah oh, okay yeah not the result it's kind of like when they say you know uh what really matters is their journey not the destination yeah okay you got it yeah you got it better now all right well ace of wands so some of you when i get the ace of wands I feel very strongly Cali's energy, but I also feel that you may have gone through a phase where your chakra were activated by those transit planets, okay? This is something I'm working on and I'm hoping to release it soon, okay? As far as working with planets and their connection to chakras, okay? And that means that every time you're getting activated by a planet, triggering some placement, some planet in your chart, you're getting your chakras because you are cosmic, my dear. You are a star being. You are connected to the universe, to everything. So when they are a certain transit, you are activating your spine, your colon, your kundalini, and you might have gone through a lot. Okay, let's be honest here. I just feel like, yeah, okay, been there also done that. And it can be sometimes very, very drastic. It's almost like it's removing so much. And you're like, again, what if? Mm. Okay, let's see what else. The Ten of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Okay. The Five of Cups. And the Hermit. Hmm, very interesting energies. You know what I feel like? All of a sudden, I feel like this separation between here, you know, masculine energy and feminine energy, okay? And what I'm seeing here is that a lot of the things that I mentioned, just as far as... <laughs> The training of you following your intuition, maybe to get to a manifestation, the Ten of Pentacles, something that leads to an income, an, you know, something concrete, something that you can be proud of, something that is building a foundation, okay? You have to use your, um, your guidance, but with this energy here, it's almost like you trusted your intuition and to align your mind to have those ideas and yes you were doing it right but you were also meant to clear by following those nudges to clear the things that blocked your kundalini channel your line and this is interesting that i already gave you the advice or kind of give you give you the clue before we even looked at the cards it's almost like part of this message and what you need to hear maybe to find comfort and find support from you know those high priestess high you know uh, sacred feminine energies that are guiding you your intuition is that part of just following those nudges is the training not so much the results okay now you got to watch one thing here because i feel that with the five of cups you know not seeing that maybe the training here is not just following the guidance but it's reinforcing that channel of communication with the higher self this is a cup you're not paying attention to 
It's almost like a gift and a blessing you're not focused on. It's like, for example, we're going through like, you know, uh, you're going to do a competition, but you're only focused on the trophy when really the whole process to get trained to maybe if you're part of like a, a, a also a, a team, you know, how to uh, communicate with your teammates, how to be uh, part of a team, all, all those precious lessons like you did not Think about this because you were just thinking about the goal, the win. And if it didn't, it wasn't a win, then it was a failure. But really, it's not. And there is here this call to realize this. So you're really being invited with this pile to realize that you are right now going through a lot of clearance. And Listening to your intuition is going to get you exactly where you need to be with the right things at the right time. Because even the right ideas at the wrong time become the wrong ideas. Now, if you like to work with a uh, sound, I have here for you removing psychic debris from narcissism as a recommendation. And if you have access to the YouTube membership, the inner wisdom activation. This is a track that I created for greater communication with the sacred feminine. Okay, so that's very accurate and on point for this. All right, pile number one, this is all I have for you. I trust this is supporting you in the greatest ways. If you need personal guidance, you can look in the description box below. You will see what I am offering at this time. And remember to give it a thumbs up if it supported you. It supports the channel in return. Namaste. Pile number two, if you chose D healing the divine masculine message let's look at your cards before we jump into the tarot cards so let's read this again together the divine masculine within provides protection discernment healing and a sense of deep safety and holding even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life your inner masculine is going through healing right now growing stronger in the ability to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression. All right, so how can we manifest all this? <laughs> Let's see what we have. Unleash your creativity. Hmm. Well, creativity, like, you know, very feminine. I feel in some of you movement. I don't know where that came from, but I, I, you can't see it, but I start wiggling, <laughs> wiggling on my little chair here. Wiggle, wiggle. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's part of a song. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not very up to date to the music nowadays. Um, what else we have? The prophet, the moon star. It says here, deep intuition, clairvoyant ability, paranormal powers, profound insight. Ah. Some of you may be this kind of chaos is meant because the feminine is awakening. Yeah, oh, speaking of chaos, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Okay, that looks very mm, inviting. Ah, but you know what? I do like the strident energy. By the way, I'm going to give you some frequencies at the end. But I know that there is a mudra, so um, sign language, that represents this trident energy. And it's, I think it's triula, tri something like this, but it's like that. I'm sorry, there you go. So you would put your thumb on this little pinky and your three fingers like a trident. Very, very powerful, okay, to remove energies and usually when I use it I kind of like put it in front like you know like almost like I'm blocking something or channeling maybe it's like a channel you're kind of like removing something to invite something new all right let's see what the message is here in unusually challenging situations the ways we have supported ourselves during more ordinary times are insufficient okay 
you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have to <laughs> dig deep into your psychic powers here pile number two we need to be open to divine inspiration protection and proceeding in new ways okay this is where you're here okay here is a portent of expect unexpected success so you have a portal of energy that is unexpected success but even if everything appears to be going against you the tide shall turn through divine grace okay you are having a little bit of divine intervention and when it has happened to me okay many times okay i love when people ask me like audrey how did you get so wise my answer will always remain the same i effed up a lot and i have come to terms to make wisdom <laughs> okay so when i was trying and that's what i'm feeling maybe some of you are trying to force things with control maybe some of you you have tried to control you can control the feminine you can control the energy she brings because she brings part of the birth is also destruction and here you are in the midst of it you might be very connected to the moon cycles some of you maybe if you're a feminine gender okay if you have your moon cycles pay attention to when you bleed if you are bleeding with the full moon this is a sign of strong release with that energy if you're bleeding with the new moon this is a strong sign of a beginning you know seed of intention that you're supercharging with the bleeding okay some of you it's something that you have to know about yourself you might be very connected if i'm not mistaken some of you if you are connected to the human design i believe the projector is very connected to the lunar cycle okay but some of you maybe it's also that something at the last full moon shook you up a little bit there was a lot of activation for new waves of people to awaken and especially people that have skills of healing through new modalities a lot of the high priest high priestesses are awakening some of you if you found this and maybe this resonates in your heart but you're still trying to figure it out well there we got chop chop in the landscaping <laughs> we gotta remove can you cut all the things yes please the weeds let's blow them away let's hope that doesn't last too long otherwise i'll just take a little short break and be back all right now it seems that it's just a little passage let's pull some cards in the meantime it just feels very appropriate <laughs> for you pile number two we got the justice in the middle okay all right let's see what else Ooh, it's coming closer what <laughs> okay all right we have oh wow wow five of swords wow we got more than expected nine of cups nine of wands and four of cups all right i'll be right back when it silences all right well i'm back less noise believe it or not i had to wait quite a while and i had a lot of time to reflect and I even had that card that while i was just waiting just popped and it's a temperance card okay so we need to bring balance and as i was observing this i also started pulling the cards for you uh for the frequencies i will show you later but it kept on confirming what i was feeling from those cards so five of swords usually speaks of a betrayal that you see it in the card pretty obvious someone is getting away with murder here uh it doesn't feel nice remember in this card there's something about you know needing to make the fem uh, the masculine energy feel feel safe to the feminine again so i feel as some of you especially here with the nine of cups there might have been like something that you wish for maybe it was a relationship or something that had to do with personal relationship or 
it feels very relationship. So I'm going to stick to my relationship dynamic. Um, but there's something from the past that seems to be anchored in your belief system that is being trying to be removed. But it seems that there could be some blocks because you're guarded, because of, in fear of repeating a past, a past, past outcome, and especially with the prophet, I saw it's almost like someone that will keep on saying like, see, I told you so. I told you this would happen because the people that speak this way, it's because they have expectations. And where do these expectations come from? They come from actual life events. This is not like they didn't make that up. But have they fully healed? Have they fully really realized and, and, and given the space to heal from those experiences? Because that leads you to be controlled by the exterior circumstances, especially by others, okay? And here with the Four of Cups, this is what I feel you're not seeing at this time. My dear one, pile number two, there is something from the past that you're still carrying that needs to be released. And when it is released, you will find more balance and feel within the security, the protection, emotional security. I posted about this recently as well on Instagram. Uh, you know, it's, some, it's, it's, a, it's something we expect from our relationships, but it's something that you need to offer yourself first. I know that the way that I've seen this in my life and when it showed up, I saw that in the past, I had a tendency because of a parent that was very high demand, okay, narcissism, you know, type of dynamics. I used to give up everything for my friends, for my family, for co-workers, anything. And it would keep on making the things that I wanted to create for myself, just keep on being stalled. Or even to a point where the divine showed me like how much I was exerting my energy and it was just running myself down. So I feel that when this was happening, I had to learn within the midst of crisis, within the midst of something that is being moved. You know, we talked about here some like divine um, intervention and I was going to say divine intelligence. There's success that awaits you. Because you're supposed to take a different route. Now, remember for me, it was like, okay, I'm here for the crisis. Okay, I'm seeing what's there. But I had to make sure that the way that organized the priority of the emergency were still allowing me to respect where my commitments were. And in the past, I could not. As a very empathetic person, I could not, and I was also uh, kind of programmed not to allow this space for myself, you know, and some of you may have had that, you know, parents that are high demand or certain circumstances, certain people, and you let yourself just go in that program. This is a message that there is a certain program. And then what it can do is that then you can build up certain resistance and certain expectations you have the prophecy you can sense so some of you might be very strong empath so you might be picking up on what's coming but that's because it's a known repetition and that's something that is part of spiritual growth spiritual growth is not going to be like hey i'm growing through my spiritual self and practices and life stays is is different and it's just a whole different reality it's actually presenting you with similar challenges and the way you react to them the way you act the way you think the way you speak the way you feel about them is a reflection of your spiritual growth okay so, so that's what i feel 
needed to be said at this time for you, pile number two. Let's look at those frequencies. This is where I was seeing the past. The past was very predominant. The psoas frequency healing. Anything that has to do with the womb. So some of you, the parents, the relationship came strongly. Some of you, it might be that the dynamic within the parents, you know, whatever was programmed in you, how you were educated, it's repeating a certain pattern in your relationship, okay? And this can really help you. Uh, the soul fragments retrieval. That is for deeper trauma, okay? So some of you, it, you can see even the cards were talking about something from the past. And you're the one meant to bring justice. You're the one meant to bring temperance. You have the strength. You came here. I don't know where you came from. <laughs> How did you find this video? Let me know in the comments below. All right? But you found this message. So you do have the strength. You do have the strength to shift this around. So this is what I have for you, pile number two. I'm sending you much love, much support, you know, for this phase. You, I know you're going to get through this. And I know you're going to heal all of this. And you're going to have so much emotional, spiritual um, mastery. That's going to feel so good to you, all right? If you still do need personal guidance, you can look in the description box below. I do have some promotions always ongoing for certain things. And um, yeah, if it supported you, give it a thumbs up. It supports the channel to grow. Thank you so very much. Namaste. File number three, and this is your message. So if you pick this card, we mentioned it in the introduction, but we're going to reread again. There was a lot to clear in terms of negativity. And that could be something that you're going through. So I am happy to be here of assistance for this energy. You are being initiated into the magic of conjuring so as to have power to affect lower vibrational forces through your own will and spoken word. You are guided to use this powerful gift with compassion and discernment, with mercy and non-judgment. You can then manage any toxicity in your life swiftly and with great effect. Okay, it seems there's a lot of mastery here. So high priest, high priestess is here. If you chose this message, you are indeed someone that is meant to channel this type of knowledge. Um, Maybe you're, you know, you need to up level a little bit, which is something, by the way, uh, in February, you're the only one I'm, I'm feeling called to mention this to. Uh, I'm going to have promotions on the one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, this is something that I am um, highly trained with. <laughs> Do not like to talk about it publicly too much, but I feel if you happen to find this video and you chose this pile... Um, I do have a lot of Scorpio energy, eighth house energy. We talked about here like seven scorpions. Um, this is a lot of mastery about um, helping to transcend, you know, darkness. Any type of darkness, any type of manipulation, any type of toxicity. Okay, that means that you're probably a very high vibrational being at your core, at your essence. And you've come here to help, support and align the earth to a higher vibrational uh, frequency of this new earth okay so i'm happy to help you and you can find the description uh, in the description box below you have the heart card the emotion chakra i wouldn't be surprised if some of you you have to watch for emotional blackmail i i was a very strong empath all my life, but as far as I, I had a very low tolerance for blackmail. When people resorted to that last resort, the emotional blackmail felt really almost against, you know what, against my high principles. So some of you, I want you to really be aware of your reactions to your circumstance. Because I would say that, you know, that was the point where I would say no. But I <laughs> wish I had said no in certain situations way earlier. Or not even get started with those situations. Okay? So let's see what you have here. Oh, wow. Mm. 
Oh la la. Sexuality. Hopefully YouTube is not going to do like Instagram. On Instagram, I had a card that said divine sensuality and I got blocked. Okay, well, let's see, YouTube. <laughs> this this is your this is your essence there is something here as far as your life force your life force that can be sucked dry i wouldn't be surprised here you know that you have such a light within if you chose this pile and a lot of the <laughs> a lot of the shadow workers are actually very strong healers and very strong light within. But they had to walk a very dark path to be able to alchemize, transcend so much of the darkness that we've experienced on this reality, on this earth. So don't be surprised here that I'm feeling that some of you, you're here. There might be a pool. There might be some attachment, some cords here um, to your flow. You have to tap into your heart more. For some reason, it's almost like, but it's towards you. I feel like, because yeah. when I said that, like, you have to tap into your heart, then I was like feeling this other element that was pulling. And I was like, no, we're not doing that. Okay. So I'm feeling cores. I'm feeling ties. Some of you, it might be a dynamic that you've developed from past relationships, some past circumstances. Some of you, it might be, I'm feeling it. So I'm going to say it. Um, we mentioned the eighth house. You might have in your natal chart, if a lot of eighth house or you have a lot of seventh house. Okay, for some reason, I feel like like maybe there's a lot of lessons with others that you're getting, how your energy intermingle with others. Go and check out your chart, okay? And, and, and that could be something that is predominant. It doesn't have to be, but I, some of you, it's important for you to learn this. Now we have a Kali card and it says, Shodashi. So it's an expression of Kali. Shodashi cleanses the soul from past hurt. Mm. Her presence indicates recovery and a reclaiming of dignity after experiences of being judged, betrayed, or criticized. If your inner being has been put down in any way, or if there has been bullying or nastiness directed towards you, Shodashi brings healing and renewal so you can rise above and lay claim to your innate beauty and worth. Wow. All of a sudden, I felt a lot of competition with this. Maybe, maybe it's not just the opposite gender that would envy or throw darkness or, you know, any type of energies at you because you know i am not someone that likes to jump into conclusion especially in terms of <sighs> negativity i like to keep myself in the highest place of thinking about others myself because i know from experience that i attract the way that i think and Yes, there might be some experiences from the past. So some of you, there might be something with competition, um, that type of like narcissism uh, dynamic with empath, letting others just take advantage of your heart. Maybe some of you, I would, I have to mention it, um, you know, feeling that when you get intimate with someone that means they care about you they love you by the way that was a mistake that i thought <laughs> well no it's it kind of back and forth but yeah at the beginning when you're young this is kind of uh, something you might think okay um and there's no judgment there we learn the way we learn and some of you there is something about how you extend your energy to others and the way it's reciprocated that needs to change. And we're going to look at this right now. Let's get the tarot cards. All right, let's shift. <laughs> let's shift the shit, okay? <laughs> By the way, this is something that I've always 
found that is very powerful is to use laughter in the face of difficulty. It's not easy, but it is precious. I actually have, there's an asteroid, the muse of uh, humor, can't remember the name, um, and I know that in my chart it is in Capricorn in a angle that speaks of discernment. And I thought I started bursting out in laughter because it's so accurate. Because when I laugh about my troubles or my hard time, my hardship, there is this level of discernment. And there's also this level of light. You know, when you laugh. It's almost like it breaks the spell, it breaks the curse, it breaks the negativity. There cannot be, you know, uh, laughter that doesn't transcend the, the dark. It just, it's just like almost like a mirror, you, you know. I, some of you will understand what I'm trying to convey here. Um, but yeah, when I saw this, I started laughing because uh, I do create sometimes real about things like that in spirituality and it really helps me. All right, let's see what we have. The Queen of Pentacles. Uh, you, retrie you need to retrieve your goods, honey. Okay, my high priest, high priestesses. Okay, there's some energy that has been overextended, overstretched. I don't know why my finger went there. Okay, let's see what's there. Mm, the world. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is, I'm going to take a break here uh, just for this because it's something that I've noticed. You know, I pay attention to the people that I follow and the trends. And this is something that I'm very happy that people are starting to realize on social media. They're becoming more private again. And I like it. And I like it because there's, uh, if you're not thinking negatively of people when you watch others, it's going to be very hard for you to imagine what people's thoughts could be if they're watching you or, you know, scrolling the, and, and if it's personal things, personal life or whatever. But I remember when I used to do this, I used to really receive psychically, especially telepathically, because my clear audience is my main um, quality as far, you know, clairvoyance too, but really it's clear audience. Uh, and I was like, where the heck is this, this noise coming from? So I want to insist on this because some of you, you're watching this. Maybe a lot of negativity you're picking off. It's a little bit spread in wherever you're extending your energy. TikTok, YouTube, I don't care. Whatever rocks your boat away. <laughs> I know some people are still like doing Snapchats and I'm like, oh, okay. Um... I don't know why I had to mention snapshot. Mm -mm. Yeah, maybe it's for some point in particular. But just watch this. I feel this is important that you're not picking up or maybe when you're trying to distract yourself from, uh, you know, you, maybe you're trying to laugh and find something amusing, but you're not dealing with the fact that maybe it's just the scrolling and this continuous uh, flow of energy keeps on bringing more of the same and just irritates your vibration more than anything else let's see what else we have yeah the page of swords i don't know here but i just felt like like it's there's something about this message here that is calling you back home it's calling back to your truth it's calling back to your power it's calling back to put yourself first and that means that you know social media is making us uh, sometimes separate. It's meant to inspire us from things that people are doing. It's like, hey, I would love to go there. Oh, that's a cool thing that I'd like to learn. But it has become. But it just depends on your perception. I personally enjoy it very much, but I had phases where I really had to learn how to put boundaries. Some of you here, there is a need of energy boundaries for sure because you seem to be very sponges and maybe some of you you could be also uh lured into the physical attraction of things oh i wish it looked like this oh i wish oh that looks good okay watch watch what people display because you don't know they might they might not be showing you the whole truth and i don't want to put everyone down because I know I'm trying to keep my integrity in terms of what I share. 
when I share it. Okay, let's see what you have here. Four of Pentacles. And some people are trying to do this as well. Four of Pentacles. You see here, there's some, it's, it's the, usually this is a card that speaks like someone that is closing off their heart or holding on to something to their heart. I, here I almost want to say like, protect your heart. Protect your heart. Two of Cups. I told you this, there was something about a relationship with this, this, this type of dynamics here. Okay. So some of you, again, there is some type of toxicity that stems from a relationship. It could be romantic. It doesn't have to be. It could be coming through the, br the broadcast. Okay. And why I'm saying this is also, I pulled some cards already while I was shuffling. I saw this card prevent psychic manipulation. When it flew, I was like, of course, of course, there's a broadcast. It, you need to be attuned to your own heart. Remove the toxicity. I, so I would give you like, <laughs> this is great. You can work with this, but I would say like your homework, your shadow work is to go through your, I would say some of you, maybe you even have contacts, okay? Maybe you have contacts that don't belong in your phone anymore. Go and clean up your connections, your contacts, update the contacts, go and check out who you follow, okay? Go and check out their pages, go and check out if it's in alignment with you, if they're, they're in alignment with inspiring you. Or is it triggering something more toxic? And if some of you are part of the YouTube membership, this one came with it, the 33 vertebrae light activation. This helps activate the 33 vertebrae. So I'm like, pushed, like um, really activating the whole spine to help you retrieve. And some of you, it's like your sexual energy is just dispersed. And what that means is that means that you might be influenced by a lot of other people's desires for creating this and this and this, and you don't know really what you're picking up on, okay? It's very interesting energy here for you, really. I did not expect this. I feel there's something else. Oh, Callie, my dear Callie. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, well, that goes back to something... I'm just a child. I will read the message, but about the privacy. I have um, a very good friend and she's a very strong empath. And recently she started being really adamant about putting a heart shape on their, her, her kid's face because she was feeling that dichotomy when she was posting and she's helping people with, um, you know, uh, stillbirth loss. So she is all about you know, being a mother and helping children. So it, it's something that I felt for her, but I didn't want to influence her. And I was very happy that she picked up on it. And I was very surprised about the people that were criticizing her. Okay. Uh, so it, it goes back to this, um, privacy. There's something about privacy, invading your privacy, invading your, your, your life force, your field. Let's see what it says. No matter what you've done, no matter how many mistakes you've made, Callie is here for you, always. Yours is the safety and sanctuary of her divine love. She is your soft place to fall and your kindest and most enthusiastic advocate. Let her shift your experience from endless tasks and ever greater expectations into sweet relief and comforting connection. I feel this is great. This is an indication that as you start purging, Okay, as you start having more privacy and maybe noticing who is there to support you, support your growth, okay? That might not be the people that always text you, always are, you know, asking you, the people that you feel safe with, you know, people that inspire safety, that inspire, you know, courage, that inspire also laughter, you know, like going through in, in ways that, you know, you, you know you... You're going to prevail, okay? So I stayed a little bit longer for you, Pile 3, and I'm not surprised. This can feel like a heavy load, but you got this. You just need to learn how to protect yourself more on the outside world 
protect, okay, especially with sexuality, it feels like when this card comes, especially in this um, predicament, I feel like it's almost like leaking out and you're not realizing that too much is being revealed. Keep a little bit of your mystery. You're going to be very happy about who you're going to find in your circle as a result. Okay, so that's what I have for you. If you need personal guidance, please look down below for the description and the offers. And if it supported you, give it a thumbs up. It supports the channel to grow. My thumbs, you look big. <laughs> Thank you so very much. I needed to laugh for the end. All right, bye, pile number three. Namaste. If you chose pile number four, this is the card. We read it in the introduction, but we are going to read it again. Lady of the Stars, Cyrus is a celestial goddess, a star of unconditional love and wisdom at an extremely high vibration. She brings deep soul awakening, spiritual gifts, and a high capacity for divine service. She asks you to pay attention now because something significant is taking place at a spiritual level for you at this time. Mm. You're intriguing me. <laughs> Pile number four. All right. I don't know why I was going to say I've saved the best for last. Not anything against the other piles, but it feels like there's something delicious coming. My dear high priest, high priestess, let's see what guidance we're receiving. Courage. Hmm. Do we do have some creepy uh, energy here? I don't know why, but doesn't she look a little bit Medusa-like, you guys? Like like her hair going up a little bit. Okay, so some of you that might be an indication. As I'm posting this, this is the last day to take advantage of the promotion for the Wild Feminine Energy readings that I have, and Medusa is one of them. Could be that you have some, you know, uh, activation. For this asteroid, she is a high priestess. She was a fallen high priestess because she got violated by, I think it was Poseidon or someone that was high ranked as a god. And um, she was gifted the power to turn men into stone, but she also turned very ugly. And um, if you're interested by her story and how we can help you in astrology, I do have on my Telegram page, you find it in the description box below, an article about Medusa. I really like the way this person read, wrote the article, but I do associate her with, you know, um, making sure that you follow your principles because when you don't, you turn yourself into stone. And those activations have been very powerful uh, for all the high priestess, divine goddesses that have received it. And high priest, yeah, we had some gents that got some. It was really, really activating for everyone because it makes you aware of your god, goddess essence. Wow, look at this. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the next one. Double courage, the courageous one. With the Mars star, so maybe you want to look into your palm. Maybe you have this star in your palm. Oh, geez, is that what? Okay, seems I have one in my left. So <laughs> from the past. <laughs> wow, this is interesting. I got a lot of lines. My my hands are very very like they look like very old. <laughs> I don't know you guys if some of you have this I, I know some people have very clear lines I have so many they're very complex okay so it says here bold brave adventurous aggressive competitive a fighter and assertive okay hmm this is interesting then we had two cards that fell for Kali all right let's see this one in this one. Commit entirely and without hesitation to your most passionate inspirations. There are genius and wisdom in what you yearn to do. You have a greater capacity to attain fruition than those around you 
may recognize. Believe in yourself, even if no one else does. It is not imagination that drives you towards your destiny, but the interesting recognition of your true purpose. I feel that this could be a fear. And some of you could be in your chart. I'm always amazed by how much is revealed in the chart. A lot of things that, you know, we're just like, oh, I'm wired like this. I'm like that. Yeah, it's in your chart because you came with um, those specific setting so you could learn specific things, specific skills, master specific things. Okay, I feel that this one is really influencing this, so I'm going to keep it there. Now this one. It is time to realize the true nature of certain life circumstances. Be grateful for what you've learned, but see things for what they are rather than what you wish them to be. You shall be able to recognize, process, and prosper from the truth and do not need to fear the revelations that are unfolding. I don't know why. Some of you, it's a fear, but some of you, this fear could be fueled by someone okay or oh, just a group of people saying things remember here's a even if no one else does believe in you and here it's time to say goodbye okay there's something about you having to be brave in the face of this new uh phase you're entering you hold a very high purpose of bringing more love we need you to be surrounded and supported by the same. It's not out of your reach, but it could be that you haven't found the soul family, the circle, that sense of security, but it is because you have to show your commitment for this to manifest. All right, let's move on to the tarot cards. I am loving this type of readings, you guys. Loving, loving. The high priestess in me loves it. <laughs> bridging, bridging. Yeah. Some of you know your Mayan um, uh, zodiac sign. I'm a world, a crystal world bridger. I'm supposed to bridge and transit and be here to help people find their way. You know, it's quite an honor. At first, I thought that was funny. I'm like, I'm a bridge. Like some people are like stars, dragons. And I'm like, I'm a bridge. <laughs> if you don't know your Mayan sign, actually, it is something you can find on my bio link of my link tree. There is, uh, I think, the last one, the last option. You can see what's my Mayan sign. Find your Mayan sign. Because sometimes it comes up where, you know... Um, Activation for the Mayan calendar comes into those readings. So some of you, that might be something that's part of it. Okay, let's see what we have. The death card. Wow. We're really, this is just under this very high vibration. It's almost like, you see this strong light? I talked about bridge. I talked about transit. Some of you, maybe it could be someone that passed and I'm sorry for your loss, but maybe this relationship to this person was also filled with certain programs, okay, certain things that um, that you need to transcend. Okay, I'm, I'm getting also something else that I want to share. From what I've seen and from what, uh, you know, my path on my spiritual journey and when I received very, very strong activation from my ancestors, when you lose, especially the grandparents, and your parents are alive, okay? There is an energy transfer not to the ch their children, but to the grandchildren. And what I mean by the energy transfer, there is, and especially it's interesting because it was a custom to name after the grandparents, okay? Uh, for certain religions or certain tribes. But there's a almost like whatever was not resolved in terms of karma, in terms of ancestral lineage and resolution from the person that passed is brought to you. So I had, I had a lot of awareness of this when my grandfather passed and then 
you know, then even people that were passed away, like great grandparents started showing up. Um, there is something here as far as an inheritance, a spiritual inheritance that is of the essence. Yes, it might come as something that is a gift and a debt. And what I mean by this, this is a continuity of a lesson of something that is important for your lineage and something that you would not have picked this family, this ancestral, this family tree to incarnate if that was not something that you wanted at a soul level. It could be for some of you that it is about being a medium, being psychic, being someone that helps transit, but that doesn't have to resonate for everyone. That is something that is being, this is like spiritual inheritance. I can feel it. And this might make you make or want to take some ch choices that do not look right or that look crazy to others, but they're not seeing what I'm sensing here and that you're probably sensing as well. The temperance. All of a sudden, you guys, I my hands and my feet became very cold. Okay, I, so I definitely feel that it is important for you if you have a certain person that passed in your family and that you feel connected to, that you um, pray and, and try to connect, okay, with the soul. Because it might be connected to delivering guidance to you, especially with the temperance. You know, there's a lot of inflow, I'm feeling, a lot of inflow, but you need to be brave. So some of you, it might be something that you fear, Okay, I have some people that fear, um, and a lot of people, um, you know, when people pass, it's understandable. Okay, so it is something that you need to see if you're comfortable. Usually, especially when it's loved uh, re relatives, it's easier. But it's sometimes something that people forget to do. Um, so connect. Okay. I, I, I have, I'm going to mention it because I feel that some of you, maybe there's something that you're shy to ask about because it's a little bit taboo to feel maybe connection to people are past. Okay. But in February, I was guided to do promotions for my one-on-one -on -one consultations. I have received a lot of past souls that come to me to be bridge for the people that are not opening, you know, for the guidance. So if that resonates, I just wanted to mention it, wanted to offer a bridge, okay? If that's something that's difficult for you. doesn't have to be. Some of you, you might be comfortable with this position. <laughs> Again, it's a collective reading. All right, let's see what else. But it's definitely, you see with the temperance, this, this, is, this is something that is precious, spiritual inheritance, at a soul level, you wanted this wisdom. There's more cards. Okay, I'm going to take them all. This is something that feels ancestral and precious. It could be also some of you, if you go into your natal chart, you can start looking at the position of the star Cyrus. You just go into, I use astrogens, when you go into the manual objects that you can add, there is a box where you can add and you just write Cyrus, S-I-R-I-U-S. Look if you have any planets next to Cyrus or maybe in opposition or any type of uh, aspect, sacred geometry. Okay, some of you, if that's something that intrigues you, that could be done in a natal chart reading. Okay, you, you're getting a lot of like different... <laughs> recommendations than the other piles you pile number four you you seem very special it's very special you're very special whoever told you you were not well they were scared they were scared of that potential and just forgive move on but you gotta stand up and let yourself receive more of it the two of wands Wow, this is interesting because, you see, I'm like, I'm, I was saying, I'm giving you 
very specific recommendations and, and almost like things you can have or things I can help you with or whatever. The two of wands is preparation, is planning. This is something that is part of you moving towards a goal that is dear to you, which is being in a soul aligned expression of life, of your reality. The nine of swords might be some um, might be some mental patterns here as it was in reverse there might be something uh, the depression maybe you okay if you had times where you felt depressed okay the, a lot of the the symptoms of depression is connected to the crown okay um you might need support with rebalancing your crown Maybe you're just getting, you've been maybe a child that was always connected to spirit, okay, or just connected to your higher purpose, and you had to close it, not to feel pointed out, and with this, it kind of imbalanced you and made it a little bit harder for you to find your ground again, now that you're opening up this pathway. Let's see. The lovers, the three of cups, and the ace of swords. I like this. Does that came almost like, okay, that came almost like a conclusion here. What I feel here is that the three of cups I love because I always feel that this is your angel teams, your spirit guides. This is definitely here for pile number four. This is... Uh, uh, like if you haven't been meditating, if you haven't been connecting to your roots, to your ancestors, you're being scolded a little bit. <laughs> He's like, what are you waiting for? You are so loved. You are so cherished. Maybe not by the ones that right now are in your surrounding, but they are coming. They are coming when you show your truth. You show your true colors. This is very strong. I can keep on hearing. Show your true colors. Some of you, you may have to step out of what I call the spiritual closet. I remember when I did. Felt a little bit weird, but at the same time, I was surprised. I had a friend I didn't speak to for oh, almost 10 years. And when she saw my page and what I was doing, she was like, you know what? Eh, not surprised. It suits you really well. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I should take it as a compliment or, but I took it as a compliment because it's almost like something you're not sure you can put your, your finger on, but when it's in front of your nose, you're like, yeah, that feels right. Okay. So now the people that are surrounding you, they might be too closed off minded. Okay. But you are supported by the divine and you might have more than one ancestor you, that is trying to communicate because I'm seeing all the butterflies and they just oh, butterflies, butterflies. Watch the animal kingdom. You might get a lot of synchronicities after receiving this message because we're opening up a gateway. We're opening up a flow of communication. I don't want you to close the doors. If you start seeing things, I just like, oh, it's reminding me of my grandma. Oh, my grandfather used to have a tattoo of this. This is not a coincidence. They're speaking to you. They're speaking to you. Some of you, I feel, especially, I don't know why this came, weird message. If um, there might be a birthday, their birthday, your birthday coming, something about a celebration, and maybe there's something that wants to be remembered. Maybe the person wants to be remembered. Maybe they want to celebrate you. Okay, so that's what I have for you, pile number four. Wow, <laughs> wow. Uh, I trust this support you. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel to grow. And if you need personal support, guidance, you know where to look in the description box below. Thank you so very much. Namaste. Mm -hmm.